Hey guys, Matt Trainer here, and Trainer Enterprise offers physical training programs that are more than just the physical dynamic. Physical dynamic is a very important component to what we do, and it's how you do get ahead in the game. But we work on the mental, the intellectual, and the spiritual component of life. So we're here to create a more comprehensive, a more harmonious life to make sure everything flows together. So the physical allows you to be strong and your heart strong and your lungs strong, but your mental and your intellectual and your spiritual is how you're gonna really excel in the world. So with that said, today we're gonna to talk about glycogen. Glycogen is basically our major energy source when we're lifting weights, we're doing some type of high intensity training, or we're doing some type of sprinting. Uh, glycogen is basically a, a bunch of glucose molecules stored together in your muscle tissue. Uh, we do find some in our liver tissue, but primarily our energy source that we get from is our muscle tissue. So glucose stored together, bonded together in your muscle is called glycogen. Now when you are starting to do some type of activity, some type of lifting or some type of sprinting, um, athleticism, any type of athlete, you use a lot of your glycogen. Again, your glycogen is stored form of glucose. Glucose is your purest form of sugar, so when you eat something, your body basically breaks down the carbohydrates to purest form to glucose. It travels through your blood and gets stored into your muscle tissue. So you're ready and charged up for the exercise that you're going to do. Your objective in training as an athlete, whether you're trying to just excel every day at the gym, you want to keep as much muscle tissue as possible. So when you deplete all your glycogen stores and your body starts breaking down amino acids or your protein for its energy, you're actually working backwards because now your body needs energy, doesn't have glycogen or glucose to supply the body energy, and your body now starts breaking down muscle tissue to meet the demands that are placing on it. Growing up wrestling, I never knew this. So after I get done a full blown out wrestling practice, I wouldn't even have any Gatorade or any type of sugary drink, which again, sugary drink is your glucose, you're gonna, you're gonna get it that way. But the next time I go to practice or, or my event, I'm breaking down muscle tissue. I'm breaking down more muscle tissue than I, I'm building. And it's very detrimental to an athlete or somebody trying to excel or breaking through a plateau. So how do you replenish your glycogen? Well, I'm glad you asked. Right after you get done exercise, about 45 minutes, you have about a 45 minute window, they say your muscles are very metabolically active. Metabolically active, meaning they're very receptive to your insulin spiking, which means that when you have some type of sugary component, some type of Gatorade or orange juice, and by liquid, I, I mean liquid in the sense that your body doesn't need to break it down like it needs to break down some pasta or some type of bread. It's already in liquid form, so your body's more easily able to digest that. So with that said, you drink your sugary drink about 45 minutes after you get done working out, uh, and what happens is your insulin spikes, your blood flows, and all that sugar, all that glucose gets stored right back into your muscle tissue because, again, your muscles are very metabolically active, that 45-minute window post-exercise. Our exercise programs, our training programs, are more than just the physical component. We do the intellectual, and we also do the spiritual. Now, spiritual for me, I believe in Jesus, and I read the Bible, and I think it's, it's got great, great encouragement. So I encourage all of you to read it. So this, with that said, in the book of Luke, in the book of Luke, in the, in, in the Gospels, Luke chapter 6, verses 47 and 48, this is what it reads. Jesus is saying this. It says, whoever comes to me and hears my saying and does them, I will show you whom he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently against the house, but could not shake it, for it was founded on a rock. Listen, our floods come. Our floods come. Flood meaning obstacles, adversity, losing a loved one, some type of adversity that you're going through, they come. And when they come, what's your foundation going to be built on? Again, my spirituality is belief in Jesus. It doesn't have to necessarily be that way. Your spirituality is whatever gets you through these tough times. Again, when you're founded on a rock, when you're founded on that rock, you're unable to be shaken no matter what comes your way. So I highly encourage you. Luke 
chapter 6, verses 47 and 48, founded on a rock. So I just want to conclude by saying that glycogen is very important for you to have stored in your muscle tissue. Again, glycogen is a bunch of glucose stored together within your muscle tissue that allows you to meet the demands that you're placing on your body. That's number one. Number two, your spirituality. Stay strong. Stay founded on that rock, whatever your rock might be. Again, when you're founded on that rock and those floods come, because they're coming, I promise you they're coming. And I'm not here to be negative or anything like that, but be ready because they come unexpectedly. And when they come, you want to be ready. Peace and God bless. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Have some fun in life and enjoy and embrace your journey. Uh, I love reading. I highly encourage all of you to read every single day for at least 15, 20 minutes. Great book, The Power of Attitude by Mac Anderson. A very influential book. It's good. It's got some good pictures. You'll love it. It's very, it's very good. The Power of Attitude. Again, every day, read, embrace your journey, have some fun, and love life. Peace and God bless.